Did you know that Korea and the Philippines share one of the closest bilateral relations in Asia? An upgrade of the two countries' 70-year-old bilateral relationship. Ambassador Han Dongman, ang pagpapaigting ng relasyon ng Pilipinas. In the grand tapestry of international relations, few threads are as vibrant and enduring as the bond between the Philippines and South Korea. This bond, woven with threads of mutual respect, shared values, and deep affection, has created a unique pattern of friendship that stands out on the global stage. From bustling city streets to serene countryside landscapes, the love between these two nations is palpable, echoing in the laughter of tourists, the clinking of trade goods and the warm smiles of migrant workers. But what is it that makes this bond so special? Why do the Philippines and South Korea share such a deep and enduring love for each other? Let's delve into this fascinating relationship to find out. The love between South Korea and the Philippines is not because of their shared culture or exchange of workforce between the two nations. Rather, it goes way back to the North Korea-South Korea War in the 1950s. The Philippines' involvement in the Korean War. In the face of the North Korean invasion of South Korea in 1950, the United Nations issued a call to arms to its member states. The Philippines, despite being a young nation still nursing the wounds of World War II, was the first Asian country to heed this call. The country dispatched approximately 7,000 Filipino volunteers, organized into five battalion combat teams to the Korean Peninsula. This decision marked a significant milestone in the Philippines' foreign policy, demonstrating its commitment to uphold international peace and security. The Filipino troops arrived in Korea in August 1950, ready to defend South Korea's sovereignty against the communist forces. The Filipino soldiers fought valiantly in several key battles during the war. Their courage and resilience were particularly noteworthy in the Battle of Yutong in 1951, where they held their ground against a significantly larger enemy force. This battle underscored the Filipino troops' crucial role in the UN coalition, contributing significantly to the eventual cessation of hostilities. The Philippines' involvement in the Korean War was not merely a military alliance. It was a testament to the shared values and mutual respect between the two nations. This shared history of struggle and sacrifice laid the foundation for the strong diplomatic ties and mutual cooperation that continue to characterize the Philippines-South Korea relationship today. The Philippines' condition during the war. In the early 1950s, the Philippines was a nation in recovery. The Second World War had left deep scars on the country both physically and emotionally. Cities lay in ruins, the economy was in shambles, and the people were trying to rebuild their lives from the ashes of a devastating conflict. The war had ended only five years prior, and the Philippines had just gained full sovereignty from the United States in 1946. The country was grappling with the challenges of nation-building, including establishing political stability, fostering economic growth, and addressing social inequalities. Despite these challenges, the Philippines was determined to play an active role in the international community. The decision to send troops to Korea was a testament to this commitment. It was a bold move, especially considering the country's own struggles at the time. The Filipino soldiers who volunteered for the mission were aware of the risks and the harsh conditions they would face. Yet, they were willing to make the sacrifice for the sake of upholding peace and freedom in another part of the world. The significance of the Philippines' contribution the decision of the Philippines to send troops to aid South Korea, despite its own struggles, was a significant demonstration of solidarity. It was a clear message to the world that the Philippines was ready to make sacrifices for the greater good. This decision was not taken lightly. It required a considerable allocation of resources, both human and material, which could have been used for domestic reconstruction efforts. Yet. The Philippines recognized the importance of collective security and the preservation of democratic values. The Filipino soldiers' bravery and dedication were acknowledged by the international community. Their contributions significantly bolstered the UN forces and played a crucial role in the eventual cessation of hostilities. One particular incident that will be remembered forever in South Korean history is the bravery the Filipino soldiers showed during the Battle of Yutong. The remarkable Battle of Yutong the Battle of Yultong, fought in April 1951, stands as a testament to the bravery and resilience of the Filipino soldiers during the Korean War. This battle was a pivotal moment in the war, marking a significant turning point in the conflict. The battle began when approximately 40,000 Chinese and North Korean soldiers 
launched an offensive against the United Nations battle line. The line was held by the Philippine 10th Battalion Combat Group, a unit composed of Filipino volunteers who had answered the call to defend South Korea against the communist invasion. Despite being heavily outnumbered, the Filipino soldiers held their ground with unwavering courage and determination. They faced the enemy onslaught head-on, refusing to yield even in the face of overwhelming odds. Their steadfast defense of the line played a crucial role in preventing the enemy forces from breaking through and advancing further into South Korean territory. The Filipino soldiers' bravery during this deadly time was not only remarkable but also instrumental in allowing the U.S. soldiers to withdraw from the battlefield. Their actions bought valuable time for the U.S. forces to regroup and launch a counter-offensive ultimately turning the tide of the battle in favor of the UN forces and eventually South Korea. The Philippines' role in rebuilding South Korea In the aftermath of the Korean War, the Philippines played a significant role in helping South Korea rebuild and recover. This period marked the beginning of a comprehensive strategic partnership between the two nations, which has continued to strengthen over the years. The Philippines and South Korea recognized the importance of economic cooperation as a cornerstone of their partnership. They became significant economic partners, with trade between the two countries growing steadily. The Philippines exported a variety of goods to South Korea, including agricultural products and raw materials, while South Korea exported manufactured goods and technology to the Philippines. This trade relationship contributed to the economic recovery and growth of both nations. In addition to trade, the Philippines also played a crucial role in South Korea's reconstruction through immigration. Many Filipinos migrated to South Korea to work in various sectors, contributing to the country's labor force and helping to rebuild its economy. These Filipino immigrants brought with them their skills, knowledge and culture, enriching South Korean society and fostering mutual understanding and respect between the two peoples. Tourism also became a significant aspect of the Philippines-South Korea relationship. Many South Koreans began to visit the Philippines, attracted by its beautiful landscapes, rich culture and warm hospitality. Similarly, many Filipinos visited South Korea drawn by its vibrant cities, historical sites and cultural heritage. This exchange of tourists not only boosted the economies of both countries but also strengthened the bonds of friendship and understanding between their peoples. Current State of Philippines-South Korea Relations The relationship between the Philippines and South Korea has evolved significantly since the Korean War, growing into a comprehensive strategic partnership that spans various sectors. The diplomatic and military ties between the two countries remain strong. Both countries have embassies in each other's capitals, and they continue to be close allies. The Philippines and South Korea are also both close allies of the United States, further strengthening their diplomatic ties. Economically, South Korea is a major trading partner of the Philippines. Trade between the two countries has been growing steadily, with the Philippines exporting a variety of goods to South Korea, including agricultural products and raw materials, and South Korea exporting manufactured goods and technology to the Philippines. In 2021, the two countries concluded talks on a free trade agreement which is expected to boost investment relations and generate jobs. This agreement signifies the commitment of both countries to further strengthen their economic ties and foster mutual prosperity. People-to-people -people exchanges through tourism, education and labor cooperation have also been a significant aspect of the Philippines-South Korea relationship. South Korea was the top sender of visitors to the Philippines in 2006, with more than half a million arrivals. Many Filipinos have also migrated to South Korea to work in various sectors, contributing to the country's labor force and helping to enrich South Korean society. Recently, Philippines and South Korea have expressed their determination to elevate their bilateral ties into a strategic partnership. This strategic partnership would allow increased high-level engagements, closer maritime cooperation, increased collaboration in addressing common security challenges and expanded cooperation in trade and investments and in science and technology between the two countries. The bond between the Philippines and South Korea is a testament to the power of shared values, mutual respect and enduring friendship. Their relationship, forged through decades of cooperation and camaraderie, continues to thrive in various sectors from diplomacy and military to economy and people-to-people -people exchanges. As we look to the future, it is clear that the love between these two nations will continue to flourish, 
further strengthening their ties and contributing to peace and prosperity in the region.